Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do it in Design Space, make a SVG file, turn it into a big character. So uh, this is actually um, tomorrow on Wednesday, January 11th, I'm gonna go live on Facebook and I'm gonna show you how to put it together. So this is just a prep if you wanna do it um, and follow along with me, it would be awesome. I will also have Maria Hernandez on from Forever Crafty. So she also does a ton of off the mat characters. So it should be a really, really fun live session. All right, before we get started, if you haven't already followed me or subscribed, please do, I appreciate all the support. All right, let's get started. Uh, first of all, the file is from the Salty Yankee and I had a poll up and it looks like everybody wants this file over here so it's the kitty friends valentine's bundle um i'm actually going to be doing hello kitty it was i really wanted to do my melody but you guys voted for a hello kitty so anyway you can purchase it here and then now i'm going to show you how to go about doing it so first thing is i've already downloaded the file so it comes over as a zip file. I just wanna double click on it. And here are all my files. So I know I'm gonna eventually do all of them. So I'm just going to click on the SVG file. So I'm gonna hit the control button and highlight the SVG files. And then I'm gonna drop it into my downloads. So now I'm gonna go into design space and we're gonna upload those files so that we can work on them. And now, while this is going on, if you haven't already checked it out, uh, the only workshops I have planned for 2023 for this year is for next month, XOXO Craft Girls. So all the information is below in the description. I have both Zoom options for the three classes and I also have the in-person um, available in Texas. It's gonna be an amazing Valentine's Day uh, craft weekend <laughs> and it's you know I want to call it like it's an event we're gonna have a special meet and greet with some special um, crafting influencers that you probably already know but here's your chance to ask questions meet them take pictures and just you know have a fun weekend so anyway check that out and here we go let's go into new project and um, oh you know one of the questions that I get before we get started here is you know I, I'm an advanced crafter, can I take your class? Yes. I'm a newbie, can I take your class? Yes. So, uh, jo uh, Josie from Sophie's Corner Crafts and I um, designed the class so that we really can have all levels. It's just like Craft Girl Summer where we had a wide range of crafters and you just come in and the crafts are already cut for you. Um, you, we will have the YouTube tutorials for Design Space so that you can go back and recreate it. Um, you know, there's a couple ways to look at it. If you are taking the in-person, you're gonna have all your crafts cut out for you and we're gonna walk you through putting it together, which you're gonna do and walk away with the projects. But we will also talk about like what you're seeing, why we did it in Design Space the way we did it. And then you can always go back and recreate it in Design Space and it will just, all fall into place for you. If you're taking the Zoom classes, you will walk through the Design Space tutorial to have it ready to, to piece together with us on the Zoom session. And again, we're kind of walking you through it. We'll get you through it, you'll recreate it, and you'll put it together with us. And then while you're on Zoom with us, there's the opportunity to ask questions that we may not have already gone through, but it's all kind of just putting all the pieces together. If that sounds too boring for you because you feel like you already know it, what you get from that though is why we do the things that we do. Uh, so you'll get the process. So I feel like there is an opportunity for all levels to really get a lot from the workshop. And then in the end, no matter what, uh, when you're putting it together, what you're learning also is our style, our creative style. And we really brought together five different uh, crafts for you to learn from us. And um, I don't know, we made it, we made sure that you were gonna get a full spectrum of techniques and styles. So anyway, all right, let's get started. Let me show you how to upload it. So you're gonna go to upload over here and upload image, browse. We're gonna go find our files now. So I put it in the downloads 
and here are the three files. So let's bring in the first one. I'm just gonna double click on it. It's Hello Kitty. We can keep this Salty Yankee Valentine's Day Hello Kitty. Your image name, you wanna make sure that it's something that you can find again because where this file will now reside is in the image library. So with the hundreds of thousands of images that Cricut has, it will now be there for you to find later. So you have to be able to find it. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you name it properly. So Hello Kitty, I'm good with that. Let's upload. And let's just bring in the other files where we're at it. It's one of those things where if you don't do it now, you're gonna forget and then you're, you're gonna to have to re-download them because you're not gonna remember. <laughs> All right, let's bring in my melody. Upload and then bring in Pachaco. All right, so stinking cute. All right, let's get to Hello Kitty. We're gonna bring her in, add to canvas. And I am going live tomorrow to piece this together. I normally will do it at 30 inches. Um, I don't wanna do it at 30 inches because you're not gonna be able to see it using that camera view, so, um, First thing is you wanna lock this so that we can um, change the size. So I'm gonna lock it. All right, let's see what it looks like at 22 inches. One of the things that I know we're gonna struggle with is this big white area. I wanna make sure that it's it can all be cut on one 12 by 12 inch uh, paper. So let's go find that white piece. Here's her face. Oh look, it's nine inches by 7.55. Let's make this bigger. I'm gonna max that out and we'll, oh, and you know also the red balloon. Let's see how big the red balloon is. The red balloon is still good. So let's grab this and let's bump it up a little bit to 26 inches and let's see what our face is. Our balloon is still good. That will still fit on a 12 by 12 piece of paper and our face is still good, oh my gosh. Let's bump this up a little bit more. All right, let's go to 29 inches and see what we have. So this is basically my process in determining the size. Most of the time, I've already looked at something and know that I can do it at 30 inches. I think 30 inches is a great size for a party prop. It is great next to a little kid celebrating their birthday, uh, 30 inches next to like a 48 inch kid. It's pretty big. Um, so for me, my process is more find the right SVG file that will fit 30 inches. In this case, you guys voted for this file. So now I'm trying to determine how big can I make this? So let's see, um, let's see the face. The face is at 12.04 by 9.96. Now I know that this will still work because we can tilt it at a diagonal and probably still be able to cut this. So let's see, how big did I go? We went 29, let's see what 30 inches looks like. At 30 inches, this is the face. Let's tilt this and unlock it so that we can see the dimensions. Okay, it doesn't look like we can do this. Because one of, oh, no, okay, so we can't do this. I'm gonna un, let's go back. Let's grab this whole thing and make it 29 inches again. So here's the deal. The other thing that I want to really uh, make an impression or really get it in your head is that at 30 inches, we probably would have had a seam somewhere, right? Is there a huge difference between 29 inches and 30 inches? No. No one else would know that we only did it at 29 inches, but everyone will see the seam. So <laughs> for me, I wanna max it out and see like how, I mean, really truly, how much of a difference are you from your goal of 30 inches or 36 inches? And is it worth it? So that's what I'm gonna leave you with, but you do you. <laughs> All right, so this is, I think that we will be able to do this. This piece right here could be separated. So what I'm gonna do is let's duplicate it. And where is my face? Did it duplicate? What happened here? 
Okay, it did duplicate, but where is it? Okay, so you see how I duplicated it? I can see it up here, but I can't see it anywhere on my canvas. And this is a good, another good learning lesson, is that you go up to your position, and if you can see right now, it's showing negative 345 or 347, and the Y coordinate is at negative 56. It's not showing on the canvas because it's in negative numbers. So I'm gonna change this to five, oops. Oh, and there we go, it's right here. So the reason why I duplicated it is because I'm gonna to go to contour right now. I'm gonna move, let me make my face even smaller. All right, um, I'm gonna to go to contour so that I'm gonna hide all, and it's gonna leave me the face. I wanna bring in the, the empty spaces though, okay? But now I have this all by itself, and look at this by itself, 11.45 by 9.96. Now I'm going to grab, oops, oh, let's grab this, let's ungroup everything, and let's grab this face. So this face, I'm gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. I actually want this piece and I don't want this piece. So now I've got these two pieces. Let's, you know what, let's put this back. Oh boy. Why can't I, where's that little piece now? I'm gonna move this back over here. Let's grab this whole thing and change it back to 30 to see what our face looks like at this point. Our face is 11.84 by 10.3. We actually could do that. We can cut that. Um, design Cricut is going to request or assume that we're going to have a bigger sheet than 12 by 12 because to cut 12 by 12, you actually can only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. But we can move this down. So when you put your paper down, I would move it, I would shift it down and not start your paper until you get to the 0.25 so that it can cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We are good to go on this. And then our balloon is at 11.34 by 10.32. This is perfect. We're gonna, you know what? I didn't wanna do it at 30 inches, but we can do it at 30 inches. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's move everything out. Let's see, we can ungroup this so it's all ready to go. Um, let's see. Oh, I love this. So this goes here. And I like this being a separate piece because we can put it on um, on foam tape and make it pop up a little bit. It'll be very cute. And let's do the same thing with this pink bow. So let's ungroup this. And for the bow, let's duplicate it a few times so that we can make it pop up. Um, and that will be really, really fun and cute. And then was, let's, um, you know what, let's go back and upload this so I can see, I'm gonna add it back to canvas. And on this one, I'm gonna flatten so that it doesn't get in the way with all of our pieces. But this is here just so that we know what the piece looks like. And then let's definitely, with both of these hearts, let's do the same thing and cut it a few times to make it like really cute. So let's duplicate that two more times. So we've got the red pieces, the balloon. Um, I think this is gonna look good. And you know what will be cute too? I think for the string, maybe when we're piecing it together, what I'll do is I'll just dab it with glue and we'll put a little bit of like sprinkles or something to make that string kind of pop out. Or maybe we can add a string to it. Um, and I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. 
All right, so I think we're good to go. We can get rid of this piece and all of our pieces, we know we don't need to do anything to it. Um, let's ungroup that. So this is all ready to go and cut. Now we only have our black background. So our black background, what I'm gonna do is let's go to images and I'm gonna search for my grid of squares. This is my personal grid. You can get it for free by signing up for my newsletter on theuselesscrafter.com or if you don't wanna give me your email and subscribe, you can purchase it. Um, but the reason why I like it is for this reason here, is that I don't need to recreate this each time. These are squares that are completely flushed so that I can start slicing our big black, our big black background. So I'm gonna insert, add it to canvas, and put it on, you're gonna to go to your position, and we're gonna put it on whole numbers. And the reason why is so that if we need to backtrack, it's a lot easier to do, um, to reposition everything if it's just on a whole number. So I'm gonna do it on three and 10. So that means we've moved over three on the on the X axis and we moved down 10 units to start our, our grid of squares. And then we're just going to ungroup it. Now, over here on the side panel, we're gonna scroll down to our black background and you can see it's in red. It's telling us this piece is way too big. It's not gonna be able to cut on the Cricut. And we know that. So we're gonna to go to arrange and bring it to the front so that we could see this piece, okay? Now, what we wanna do is look to see where we're slicing this little person. <laughs> um, what we don't want is something like this. The reason is this whisker is barely hanging on and this piece right here is going to, we're gonna to have to tape it together. We don't want that. We want big pieces. So what we want is maybe something like this. All the whiskers are intact. Um, the string is intact. We've, we're gonna have big pieces here. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is the balloon. All right, let's do the balloon like this. We've got it's gonna come down right here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, okay? So let's get rid of the squares we don't need just so that it's out of the way. And now we're gonna slice. We're gonna slice one square at a time with the image. So let's do this one. Okay, I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna slice. So now this little piece is by itself, okay? I'm gonna grab this area, slice that. And I'm just gonna move it over so that you can see we're piecing it back together. We can now get rid of these two pieces and then we're gonna slice this. Oops, let me undo that. Let's slice this. We'll slice it all and then we'll move it over. Slice this. And now we have all our pieces. So I'm gonna move this over. And now we can cut these pieces, right? Okay. Now, let's get rid of all these pieces. So we've got, I'm gonna move these pieces over for a minute. We've got this little thing coming down, which I believe is going, there's going to be, let me, let's move this, arrange, and bring to the front so that you can see it. When we put this together, you see there's gonna be a seam right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this heart, but we're gonna go to contour. We actually don't want the outside, we want the inside. So, oops, no, that's not what I want. I want this and I don't want this, there. This piece, we're gonna to turn to black because what's gonna happen is, you see how there's a seam? I mean, that seam is, hold on, let me move this over. I'm gonna leave it just a little bit so we can see the seams, okay? We're gonna put this right over it and now that seam is no longer visible and then bring to the front. So now that seam that was a longer line 
is only going to be a little bit right here and a little bit right here. With the beautiful red, we're not even going to notice it. And it's going to look more light. So you get the idea. So that's one. Now let's look at her face. Her face probably has a seam through the nose. So let's go to arrange, bring to the front. Let's just kind of see what's going on here. Yeah, it's probably going to go through the nose. So let's duplicate the face. And let's go to contour. And we're going to hide all. We only want the nose and we don't want the face. And again, with the nose, we're now going to turn that into black. And that's going to go here to cover that seam. And then the yellow will go on top and we're not going to notice the seam. The, I don't think there's, oh, the heart. We might need the heart here. So let's ungroup the pink dress first. And then this piece we're going to duplicate. We're going to go to contour and we're going to hide the dress, keep the heart, change the heart to black. Now we've basically minimized the seams to just little, little pieces, probably about an inch in seams overall in the whole project that you're not going to notice because everything else is so stinking cute. <laughs> All right. The other thing that I want to talk about is, um, you know what? Let's bring her back in. I thought I was done, but I'm not. Okay. Let's look at her. I'm going to flatten it. I think I want to make the balloon a different material than the red bow and and the red on her dress. So I think I'm gonna, for this balloon, I'm gonna change it to just a different red so that when it's on my cutting mat, I know that this is going to be a different material. Um, and I think everything else we can keep the same. I, yeah, let's do that. All right, I think we're good for now. Let's delete this, let's save this. I can't believe I'm doing Hello, oops, Hello Kitty 30 inches. I'm gonna save it. And you know what? Let's put XOXO in, in the balloon. Because I, well, so Maria is also gonna be at the meet and greet. So for the XOXO workshop attendees, um, the in-person attendees, you will get a chance to meet her too. And then you can ask us questions. I mean, it's going to be, I don't know. It's just like a meeting of, of like all the fun crafters, like a chance to, I don't know. It's going to be such a fun experience. I'm super excited about it. All right. So <laughs> let's go and put in XOXO. Um, let's go to images and see if there's any cute XOXO already pre-existing pieces. Um, I'm debating. I kind of like this one because it's going to give us an outline. So let's do that. Let's see what it looks like. make this smaller oh but you know what uh, i don't like that <laughs> let's go back to images let's search xoxo again i think there are cuter ones and we can always do an offset ourselves <gasps> this is cute i like that let's add that to canvas okay okay so let's see what we have here our pieces are, we have the black and then we have those little pieces. Okay. So what I want to do is let's duplicate this. And on this one, we're going to, oh, it won't let me contour. Okay. So let's see, let's do an offset of this. Um, my offsets, I do like 0.05. So let's apply that. Okay, so we've got our offset. Um, let's contour our offset and hide all. And let's make that, do we want it in white? Let's do it in white and let's do this 
in pink. So it's going to look like that. Is it going to look good in white? We'll try it. We'll try it. All right, I think we have our pieces. Let's save it. I'm gonna go cut it and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.